Hi there, everyone. Speak was in Pro version 5 is here in all its glory, and it's soon to be replacing Speak was in Pro version 4 altogether. But the good news is that in the meantime, you can have both versions on a laptop at the same time, allowing you to choose which one you're going to use. There are some important things you need to know, though. Firstly, um, even though I appear to have both versions open at the same time here on the same laptop, that's a bit of a no-no. You mustn't do that because it won't work. It'll cause you all sorts of problems. Another important thing to know is once you've committed at the beginning of a quiz, you can't switch which version you're using in the middle of a quiz. And that is because the team's list on the side references a different file. So you wouldn't, it wouldn't retain the scores or anything if you switched to a different version. Also, I need to tell you about the Speakwizine Documents folder. On Speakwizine version 4, it was called um, Speakwizine 4 Documents. On Speakwizine version 5, it's also gonna, it's just going to share that folder, so it's still going to be called Speakwizine 4 Documents. That's unless you've never had Speakwizine 4 on the laptop that you're installing Speakwizine 5 on, in which case it will just name it Speakwizine Documents. So the main reason for making this video is to get you all set up with your activations so you can use activations with Speak Within 5. The good news is if you authorize it with the exact same name as Speak Within 4 on the same laptop, then the same activation should work and you can switch between the two and um, use it on both. So the first thing to do is before I click on there, unauthorized there, I'm going to go to Speak Within 4. And in Speak Within 4, you'll notice it's down here rather than up in the top right-hand corner. I'm going to click on Demo Mode, and I'm looking up here so I can see my username, uh, uh, um, which is blanked out for you. Uh, but the important thing is is the computer name. So I've got it for stu uh, some reason, Alan Skio, A-L-N-S-K-I-O. Uh, so I need to get that exactly the same. While I'm on, I'm just going to check and see if I've got any activations booked. If I click on there... And it turns out I have one for Monday. Okay, I'm not going to install it. That's today. I uh, go back to speakers in five. And now I click on un unauthorized there, and I'm going to put the details in. So I put my e username, which is my email address, my password, and the exact same name as it was in the other version A L A N S K I O. And I click authorize now. And it's authorized, so if I click that now, it's gone from saying unauthorized to demo mode. And now what should happen, if I click easy activate, it's found the exact same activation. So if I click install now, there you go, um, today's activation. If I click done, close that so you can see now all the teams on the left hand side are showing it's no longer in demo mode and you can see the quiz pack the 10th is now showing on there that's a new feature on version 5 is you don't have to click on load um, the, the most recent the most up to date quiz pack should be just showing there for you to click on the rounds and now if I go back to speak was in version 4 I can also click on demo mode easy activate and it should install on there as well all being well Excellent. So thanks for watching. Check out the other videos in the same YouTube playlist about migrating from version 4 to version 5 on the same laptop. Thank you.